Hello everybody, and welcome to the Bob's Watches video series. Today we are taking a look at one of the most underappreciated, yet incredibly interesting models in the Rolex catalogue, the Air King. Released in the midst of World War II, the Rolex Air King is the only remaining watch in production from the original Air series. Released in 1945, the Air King joined the ranks of the Air Lion, Air Giant and Air Tiger, all created to honour the RAF pilots of the Battle of Britain. As with many of their other models, the Air King was designed with a particular type of person in mind. In this instance, it is pilots. Over the years, pilots have adopted the Air King, with some companies like Pan Am giving them as gifts to retired pilots. The Air King look is well known and has become a highly prized collector's piece. The Rolex Air King was modified a series of times, introducing reference numbers 4499, 6552, 5500, 14000M and 114200 throughout its turbulent history. For a start, the transitional Air King, reference 6552, does not utilize the hunter movements several of the other models in the series do. Rather, it features a caliber 1030 movement. The reference 5500, introduced in 1957, also took advantage of different movement, opting to use a caliber 1520 or 1530 movement due to importation laws that restricted the 1520 movement, resulting in a reduction of jewels. Despite the years of new references and advances, in 1958 a separate Air King line was developed featuring the Air King date and 5500 model. Utilizing advances made on the Explorer, the 5500 case was used on the 35mm Air King as well. This is the only Air King to feature this case size. The airline of watches were produced through the 1960s, with only the Air King continuing to be improved and produced onto the present. For nearly 37 years, the Air King line remained fairly unchanged. It was eventually upgraded to feature a sapphire crystal and new caliber 3000 movements with the release of reference 14000. The following reference 14010 introduced the engine turned bezel. In 2000, both were updated to feature the caliber 3130 movement. In 2007, the 14000 series was replaced by the new and improved 114200. This reference series changed the look of the Air King. Featuring a thicker case, the new Air King was slightly larger. It was topped with a concentric dial and sported a brand new machined oyster bracelet. Though the original reference had an engine turned bezel, it was later removed. With this reference, the Air King became officially COSC certified, even before its more popular Rolex compatriot, the Submariner. The Air King reference 114200 is a modern incarnation of the original Air King, but with the advancements and features of a modern Rolex. Though water resistance is not necessarily a cause for concern for most airmen, pressure can be. With the Rolex Oyster case, however, many of these concerns can be put to rest. The current Oyster case not only protects the watch through its use of screws, but also from the material it is made from. Utilizing the Super Alloy 904L stainless steel, the case ensures strength and durability. While the Oyster case provides strength and durability, Rolex takes this theme a step further with the blue parachrome hairspring. Specially designed by Rolex, the blue parachrome hairspring offers much greater resistance to shocks and temperature variations. The hairspring is crafted from a highly stable paramagnetic alloy that includes niobium and zirconium. It is insensitive to magnetic fields and up to 10 times more resistant to shocks. Thus, if the wearer accidentally drops their watch, the oyster case and parachrome hairspring work together to protect the watch's delicate movement. This version of the Rolex Air King also takes advantage of another of Rolex's great technological developments, the perpetual mechanical self-winding movement. This particular model is equipped with Caliber 3130. As with most of Rolex's movements, Caliber 3130 is entirely developed and manufactured by Rolex and is a certified Swiss chronometer. The movement is designed to harness the energy of natural wrist movements to provide a reliable and clean source of power for the watch movements. If moved at least once every 48 hours, the watch will continue to run without the need to be wound. The movement utilizes a half-moon shaped oscillating weight which pivots freely in both directions on its axle. As it rotates, the rotor continuously winds the perpetual movement's main spring. Rolex takes it a step further with two distinctive red reversing wheels, 
which ensure efficient winding of the movement regardless of the direction in which the oscillating weight rotates. Thus, any simple movement of the wrist will produce enough energy to keep the watch running. While the Air King, reference 116900, may look like a completely different watch, it stays true to its humble beginnings as a pilot's watch. The case is still equipped with a screw-down crown that can withstand depths of up to 330 feet as well as higher altitudes. This newer reference also takes advantage of a twin-lock screw-down crown for extra waterproofness, a scratch-resistant sapphire crystal, and the ever-popular 904L stainless steel. A next-generation caliber 3131 perpetual movement beats within the case providing an accuracy of plus or minus 2 seconds a day. Although the Air King logo has been moved lower on the dial, avid Rolex collectors will be pleased that it is still present on the dial, just like the original Air King. With its aesthetic appeal and fine, precise construction, it is no wonder the Air King has had such a long production run and is still produced today.